I had a hard time picking out the products for this video. You guys, it's end of year, and you know what? I decided to tell you which products I have absolutely loved this year. These are my ride or dies, the products I've been using and loving, and I want you guys to try out because they are so awesome. Okay, product number one. This is gonna surprise you because it's not gonna be a skincare product. It's a hair care product. This is the Aquas Turban, and it's made out of microfiber. It dries your hair really, really fast after you get out of the shower. It doesn't stretch it, it doesn't ruin your hair. You know, a lot of the times when we get out of the shower, we wrap our hair in a regular towel, but what we're doing is we're pulling on it, we're probably damaging it because if you let it sit, in that towel too long and it just stays wet like that, it actually dries your hair out, it stretches it, it causes split ends. We're doing so much damage to our hair and we don't even realize it. This uses the same kind of microfiber and like sweat wicking technology that sports clothing uses, you know, like when it's wicking away all that sweat. It uses that same technology to wick away the water from your hair. Your hair is really fragile when it's wet and it's sitting in that towel. So this really just helps keep your hair a little bit stronger a little less fragile, and it dries your hair so much faster. It really soaks up all of that water from your hair, and then when you take it out to dry your hair, it's like a cinch. It's such a breeze to dry your hair compared to, you know, before I had this towel. I have so much hair, so this is a lifesaver for me because I really don't want to blow dry soaking wet hair. Instead, I use this, and I highly recommend it. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I am obsessed with this Elemis cleansing balm. It's their pro collagen cleansing balm. I love cleansing balms. I love cleansing oils. I feel like when you wear a lot of makeup like I do, it's the only way really to remove your makeup. You use this as the first step in your cleansing at night. This is by far one of the best cleansing balms I have ever used. It doesn't stay on your skin. Like you don't feel like it leaves a layer afterwards and it's so easy to use. You just scoop up a little dollop of it you rub it together and it starts to like soften in your hands and then you just rub it onto your skin and over your eyes and everything. Even if you're wearing waterproof makeup, it will take it off. It turns into an oil on your skin and then you just get it a little bit milky with water. And then I actually just rinse it off. And then I use just a typical like gel or foam cleanser and my makeup is gone. It's so easy to use. It, I like can't tell you how much this has changed my skincare routine. The Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I've put it in videos before. This is a brand new one and I'm so pumped to have a brand new one. It even smells like a spa. It's so nice. There were a lot of mascara launches this year, but by far my favorite of all of them was this one. The Hourglass Caution Mascara. The brush on this is the perfect size. It's not super thick. It makes your lashes look long and thick. And one of the things that I like that not everybody will like about this mascara is you can kind of layer it on and get really thick looking lashes, almost spidery lashes if you really pack it on. And I tend to love that look. You can also just do like one coat and you get a really long lash like natural look, but I love to pack this stuff on. It's super dark black. And I know that that sounds strange because it's like if it's a black mascara, wouldn't it just be black? But but not all mascaras are like that. This has like super dark black and it just makes your lashes stand out. And you know what else I love about it is it doesn't start to flake and crumble on your face later on in the day because that does happen with some mascaras, even really expensive mascaras. This is by far my favorite mascara launch this year, you guys. It's so good. Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. It really does. It gives you just beautiful lashes that everyone's gonna notice. Back to hair. I am almost out of this stuff. I have to order another bottle of it. It's way hair care. It's genius marketing, genius packaging, the scents, everything about this brand is really genius. But I didn't really wanna hop on the marketing trend because I really thought it was just a social media trend. And then I got the texturizing hairspray and it's probably the most genius product I've ever used. This combines the hold of hairspray and then the texturizing spray and it also just has a beautiful scent to it. And you spray it in your hair and it just zhuzhes your hair. It gives you that like, I just woke up or something, bedhead. It's like cool, undone look. I'm just gonna show you really quick. It's awesome. You just spray it. It's like. And I guess like the best way to think of it is it's kind of like dry shampoo mixed with hairspray. You're getting that benefit of the dry shampoo, that volumizing, but then you're getting the hold of a hairspray. I don't just spray it in the roots. I actually spray it all over my hair and then I just poof. And then it stays like that the whole day. It's amazing. If you're wondering what the scent is, they say it's a floral scent. I think it's a floral scent too, but it's a really light scent. If I wanna look like I did something to my hair, I do a few waves in it and then I put, I put this spray in it and I am good to go. Again, if you follow me on social media, I mean, 
If you just follow me anywhere, my personal channel here, you'll know that I have talked about the Sunday Riley CEO, Rapid Flash Brightening Serum. Sunday Riley, Sunday Riley's CEO, it's their vitamin C. I love that stuff. It's, I have been using it religiously. This is by far one of the best serums that I have ever used. It's a vitamin C. You know I love vitamin C. It makes your skin look brighter and smoother and feel better and it gives me a glow. That's why I love this stuff. It also has glycolic acid in it on top of the vitamin C, and I feel like that little boost of glycolic acid to help exfoliate your skin a little bit more just makes it even better. It's like working double time on your skin. I love this stuff. I use it every single morning. Sometimes I use it at night if I'm not using retinol, and I just think it's great. It's one of the best vitamin Cs I have ever used. You guys are always asking about my favorite lip colors. I actually have three lip products in this video today. I'm gonna start with this one though. I have talked about it. It is Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy Lipstick. The color is Culture Clash. This is my second one and you can see it, I'm already wearing it down. It is the perfect basic color to have for everyone. I think it looks good on everyone who I've let try it. It's like a mix between red with like a little bit of maroon to it. It's, I don't know, and like a nude. I don't know how to explain it. It's the perfect color for just about everybody, and I love this lipstick so much. Plus, it just feels really nice on your lips. It stays on forever. I'm a big fan of the Estee Lauder Pure Color MV lipstick line, and this color has been by far my favorite the entire year. I've worn it in so many videos. I've worn it in so many pictures. I wear it every single day, basically. This is my go-to lip color. It's so pretty. Back to skincare, I love retinol. I feel like every woman should have a good retinol in their skincare routine. I've been trying a ton of different retinols all year long, but the one I keep going back to is this one from Verso. What's funny is I actually was very averse to trying this brand out because they use their own version of retinol. They call it Retinol 8. I wasn't sure if it was gonna work for me, but I kept trying all these different retinols and they either weren't strong enough for me and I wouldn't see a difference in my skin, or they were too strong and I would start seeing my skin get really peely or dry or just get really sensitized. And I didn't like that because I want to be able to have a skincare routine that's not damaging my skin or causing it to be you know, hard to deal with. I keep going back to this one. This is specifically the Super Facial Serum from Verso. It's great. It feels like a moisturizer on your skin. It doesn't dry it out. And after a month of using it, it really feels like you have glowy skin. I mean, everyone starts complimenting my skin every time I go back to using this. It does not make my skin dry or peely. In fact, it makes it feel like it's moisturized. It is probably one of the best retinols I have ever used and I can't believe it. And the way it kind of works is it it's like the retinol kicks in over time instead of just like going strong right then when you put it on. It's like it just spreads out over time as you're sleeping in it or wearing it. You know, they say wear it during the day too, but I actually only wear retinol at night and it has been great. I wear it probably like every other night and I love this stuff. I really highly recommend it. If you don't have a retinol in your skincare routine, this is a great one to add to it. Back to lips, I have been loving all of the Kevin Aquan Molten Lip Liquid Lipsticks. I was kind of over the liquid lipstick trend because I just felt like they were drying out my lips and it just didn't look right, it didn't look natural to me. And then I started trying these. This one is Julia, but I have three other colors that are more on the nude side and I wear them all the time. I feel like my lips look really pretty. It doesn't look cracky or dry on my lips. It feels really, really nice. And the colors are vibrant and gorgeous. I don't know, they just did a really, really good job with these lipsticks and I highly recommend them. But if you're looking for the perfect red, this Julia color is gorgeous. And since we're on the topic of lips, again, if you follow me on social media, you'll know this is by far one of the best glosses that have ever launched. This is the Gloss Bomb in Fenty Glow. This color is so universal. They touted it as this when they first launched it and one person on our team, Carly, got it. We loved it so much, then I got it, then other people got it, then Nikki got it. Everybody just started getting this and it turned into the best lip gloss we have all ever owned. It really does look good on everybody. You can wear it alone, you can wear it over your lipstick, and it doesn't feel too sticky. That's kind of the key. I love this stuff. It works for everybody. You need it. Last is another makeup product, and it is one of my favorite foundations this year. It's Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. It really does last the entire day. You guys are always asking, like, what foundation do you wear on camera? What foundation is your favorite? If I had to narrow it down, this is the foundation that I wear the most. My color is Honey. It really does last the entire day. It's supposed to last 15 hours. I've never tried to wear a foundation for 15 hours. I try to get out of my makeup as soon as possible, but it does last like the eight or nine hours that I do end up wearing makeup. And 
it never transfers. I don't end up having it like on my clothing or if I hug my husband or something, it's not on his clothing or if I'm holding my baby. You guys know what I'm talking about. Your makeup can transfer. This does not do it. My makeup artist Nikki gives it a thumbs up, which is a good thing because we don't always 100% agree on different products, but this one is one where we like have a common ground on. Great foundation. So those are my ride or die, absolute favorite beauty products this year for 2018. I love these products. Not all of them are brand new, but some of them are. Some of them have just been around for a while, like the Elemis, and I have just fallen in love with them this year. And I know I'm gonna continue using these products into the new year, and obviously, Obviously, I'm gonna find new products that I absolutely love, but these have been by far the most used products in my beauty routine this year, and I highly recommend every single one of them. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Find me on Instagram, I'm at Susan Yara. I talk about all the products I'm using all the time on Instagram. I also show little bits of my life, and I hope you guys have a happy new year. Bye-bye.